Hey guys, it's Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. For those of you that don't know um, who I am, I am a Tumblr maker. I've been making and selling tumblers for the last two years now. I have probably made well over, well over 3,000 custom tumblers. <laughs> so that's why um, I'm doing this today because I want to prepare you guys for what's to come. That's the whole reason why I make these videos. So today I actually wanted to talk to you guys about uh, Christmas. Now I know I've been just kind of bringing it up here and there, you know, I just wanted you guys to kind of think about it. I know you probably guys thought I was crazy for doing that, but it's true. We, we have to think about the holidays. So without any further ado, I'm gonna kind of go over the things I like to do to prepare for Christmas because today is the day you need to start being serious about the holidays. We are not that far away. This is when I start planning for the holidays this month. We're in July now. It's time. It's, it's raining. <laughs> Again, for those of you who don't know, I live in Florida, so it, this is the rainy season. So anyways. <laughs> As a small business owner, uh, I honestly start thinking about Christmas the day after Christmas is done, the year previous. I honestly start planning that far in advance. But if I kind of slack off and I just kind of, you know, not really think about it, July is when I start getting very serious about it. So let's go over these things that you need to do to prepare yourself for the holidays. The most important thing um, I could say you guys could do is collecting your supplies. Now, you don't, my, my first Christmas, I didn't know any better. And so I would go to the store to try to find epoxy or I'd go, you know, try to find glitter or, or anything like that. And I wouldn't be able to find it anywhere. So now's the time that every time you have a little bit of money, if you buy epoxy, buy a second epoxy stick that away in, in a bin somewhere. That's your Christmas stuff. When you buy your glitter, buy two things of glitter. Stick it away in, in, a, in your bin so that way you can prepare for the holidays. When you buy your tumblers, you want to buy just a little bit extra and like I said, tuck it away. Get prepared, prepare yourself because you don't wanna run out and then not be able to find any supplies. You gotta be able to provide these things when it becomes in demand, when those when those holiday orders start really rolling in. If you are somebody who ships uh, items out or tumblers out, get your boxes. See my boxes? There's more than that. I have them all over the place. Get your boxes now because it takes a week or two if you do priority mail and you go through and you get your free boxes and stuff like that. It takes, it takes a week or two to get those boxes. Because again, you don't want to be stuck at Christmas and then telling you they don't have any more boxes to hand out. Because that did happen to me. And I had to just go around and find as many boxes that the post office would give me, priority boxes that they would give me, and some of them would only give me one. Some, one, one place actually did give me a full, you know, whole thing of it here. These, one of these whole things here, which are 25, but that still wasn't enough. So I was kind of scrounging around. But it, this is very, very important. Get your supplies now while you can. I'm serious. <laughs> I buy my epoxy now. I have huge kits of it over here. I have uh, four, sep four separate kits over here. I'm hoping it'll last me till Christmas. It should. I think I go through uh, these, you know, well, this one's empty. But I go through one of these a month. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping that'll last me. Uh, like I said, buy, buy it now. It doesn't mean you need to break the bank to do these things. Just when you're already purchasing something, think ahead. Buy extra at the time that you're purchasing it. Tuck the extra thing away so that you have it when you need it. Now, things like Black Friday and stuff like that, um, you know, a lot of people do uh, participate in that. I sell an Etsy, 
So they actually send you out um, a little email. Do you want to participate in this? We'll make sure that you're in the group. And so they kind of push your items to the top if you kind of participate in that. If you want to participate, that's fine. I don't ever participate in stuff like that because my items are already priced pretty, pretty cheap, you know, for what I do. I, I you know, so I don't really participate in that. But if you want to participate in that, sure, go ahead. Another thing that I could say is just really promote yourself. If you do plan on doing a Black Friday sale, make sure you put the word out there through your Facebook, you know, start, start up a Facebook group, get all your friends in there, have them bring their friends in there. Just get, get yourself known. Slowly, slowly start building yourself up now if you don't have um, all that right now. I even do uh, TikTok and I swear I've made so many sales because I'm on TikTok. You just make little fun videos here and there, make sure you put the proper tags so people can find you and even stuff like that. Instagram, I don't really do Instagram, but, <laughs> but hey, you know, some people do really well on Instagram. So Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, all those things get yourself out there get yourself known make sure you, you put your business cards out everywhere make sure you carry business cards with you to promote yourself so that way you get more business when when that time of year comes around I mean it, you gotta you gotta work you gotta work hard to get yourself known I I mean I started with nobody knowing me but over time I just kind of built up to where I am now so now, I know I said this before for those of you who have seen my, my other videos. <laughs> there becomes a, a time and place where you have to start taking what you're doing seriously. And now is the time to start taking what you, you do seriously. If you want to make those sales, then you need to start, you know, putting yourself out there. Just keep pushing yourself through. Keep making those tumblers. Ready to ship items are, are always really hot that, that time of year too because you have a lot of last minute gifters that'll come in and you know wanna wanna buy a ready to ship item. So having a couple ready to ship items will be good. Now you may be wondering, well what sells during Christmas? Everything sells during Christmas. It could be beach themed, it could be Easter themed, it could be just random ombre colors. Everything sells during Christmas, everything. So just having just a couple items here and there that are ready to ship will help. I mean, just a couple of your items that are kind of hot, like now, you know, people might be interested in now. So like with Etsy, customers come through and what they will do is they'll put things in their cart to save for later, or they will like an item so that way they can easily find it when they go to want to purchase things. So people are tucking these items away now so that way when the holidays roll around, they can go back and be like, oh, okay, I remember that. I'm gonna get that. So like I said, just, just be prepared. Now I know I've said my goal for you guys is to be flooded for the holidays, and I do mean that. You can probably expect to start picking up with sales. It's July, so August, September. Probably, probably close to the end of August, around September, is when you're gonna start to see an increase, maybe towards the end of September even, because you know people are, aren't really thinking about it until like October, November. Now, if you're gonna be one of those crazy people that stay open for the full month in December and try to hang in there, more power to you. Just make sure that you're able to get those items out. Make sure that you're able to fulfill what your customers need and get it out when you say you'll get it out. Make sure you set specific dates. Let everybody know, hey, uh, my cutoff for uh, Christmas, anything that's Christmas related, that's meant for a Christmas gift, I, anything purchased past this date, it's not gonna happen and stick with it. Don't, you know, don't be like, okay, well, I'll try to squeeze you in, don't do that stick to what you say to people so that way you don't overwhelm yourself because it's so easy to overwhelm yourself that time of year thinking that you you got it if all you can handle is five tumblers a week you know make sure you, you say that it, 
if you get too many orders that you know you can't handle, turn off your shop. Um, you know, tell people you're not accepting any more orders. Don't overwhelm yourself. Make sure you can get those items out there because your reviews are what's gonna count in the end. All those reviews you're gonna get from your customers are what's gonna continue to carry on throughout the rest of the next year to help continue to build your business. So Christmas is, especially if you're brand new, Christmas is the, the biggest time of year to be able to get those reviews, to get cu new customers, and to have those customers tell other people, and it will just continue on. You know, if, you, if somebody has a bad experience or multiple people have a bad experience because something wasn't shipped on time or whatever reason, then that's gonna hurt your business. So make sure that you have a plan and you stick to it. Make sure you have a, a certain amount of time that you're gonna give yourself. So I um, will be shutting my shop off for Christmas. Any type of Christmas related items, I can't, I'm either gonna do it before Thanksgiving or right after Thanksgiving. I can't remember which one I, I do. I did it last year, I can't remember what I what I did. But I, I shut my shop off, um, Right. let's say it right before Thanksgiving. I'm gonna shut my shop off right before Thanksgiving and I'm not gonna reopen until January 1st. So that way, you know, I can kinda have some time off. But, so my, what I do is anything after, now my lights are flashing. <laughs> the storm's really coming in. <laughs> But anything um, purchased after that point, I'm gonna tell them, you know, I have so long, just long as it's there to them uh, before, obviously before Christmas Eve, it should be good. So any orders that I make and with the way things have been going, me personally, I'll probably have close to 200 tumblers that I'll have to do. And I, <laughs> and I have to make sure that they're out um, in a decent amount of time. So, <laughs> but like I said, if, if all you can handle is five tumblers, 10 tumblers, 20 tumblers, make sure you, you stop, make sure, okay, that's enough. That's too many. I can't do anymore. Don't overwhelm yourself because you don't want those bad reviews. You want that constant positivity on your side, not the negativity. Okay. Am I perfect? No. <laughs> Am I special? No, probably, you know, I'm just an average person, just like you guys. But, and I, and I keep trying to figure out what makes my shop so much more special, you know, it's that I get as many orders as I do. And I think it's, because like I said, my, my items are pretty basic, you know, I, I, have, I sell lots of ombres and stuff like that but I've been working really hard for the last two years to get myself into this position. I didn't, it didn't happen overnight for me. It took, you know, a couple years for it to get this way. And it took two holidays also for it to get this way because that's when I really started making, it seems like every holiday it just keeps snowballing into more and more customers. That's because most of them are repeat customers. Most of them are you know, they heard from me through a friend type thing. But I also have to say that um, selling through the, the platform that I do has also helped me because I would never, I've sold from Alaska to Hawaii, to New York, to Miami, to Puerto Rico, to across seas. So I, I really have to say that Etsy has really helped me out with that too because I, I've, I've reached um, so many more people than I ever would have dreamed of reaching this way as well, which I, I, I guess that's maybe that's what helped me too. But just having great customer service, which means constantly answering questions, constantly being humbled by your, your customers because they're spending their hard earned money on, on something you're making for them. And it doesn't mean you need to get overwhelmed with that either, but. <laughs> You know, these are handmade items, so you don't have to be, people like that. They like, they like handmade items. You're making something special just for them. So, but I know that if, if I can do this, I know that you guys can do this. I know I'm just trying to prepare you guys because the holidays can be very difficult, <laughs> especially if you have a family, um, 
you know, that you're trying to be with as well. So you need to make sure that you have your supplies. You need to make sure that you give yourself a deadline and stick with it. Don't, don't let anybody bully you into, into uh, trying to do something more than you already need to do. Have a deadline. Um, now, number three, now is the time to start really promoting yourself. Put yourself out there. Say, hey guys, I know it's a little early. There's people out there taking Christmas orders now. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> there are there are people out there right now taking taking Christmas orders. But just, you know, kind of let your customers know, you know, Christmas is around the corner. Don't forget about me. You know, so just just keep pushing. Just just keep focused and keep building your supplies so that way when when the holidays hit you're not like, oh my gosh, I don't, I'm all in my glitter. I'm all out of my epoxy. I, you know, I'm all out of boxes. I'm all out of tumblers because that time of year, it's gonna be, shipping's gonna get harder and harder. It might get pushed back more or things are gonna be sold out. So like I said, buy, buy one thing now, tuck it away, get your boxes now, tuck those away, get your epoxy. Your epoxy is very important, get it now when you can, okay? Don't, doesn't mean, like I said, doesn't mean go out and spend thousands of dollars on supplies right now. No, you, you don't need to do that. Just, just keep building yourself. Another thing that I highly recommend is if you built your own turner, get your extra motors now. Make sure you have extra motors for in case your motor gives out or, you know, for whatever, or if you, you need to build extra um, turners I've had that happen too. I've had where I, my motor went out and I've had where, oh my gosh, I need more turners now. And I would have to make my husband build me a couple just so I have extra so I, I could get my, my tumblers done. So think about your turner. Think about everything that you would need and just kind of double that, okay? Because especially with motors, sometimes they are really hard to find. So tuck your motors away, <laughs> have those ready. Like I said, whenever you're kind of talking uh, on your platform that you sell on, or you know, if you sell through, if you have a group through Facebook or whatever, you just kind of casually bring it up. You don't need to push it. Just keep letting them remember that it is around the corner. Just maybe once a month, and then once, uh, let's say September hits, be like, okay, guys, now is the time. So that way, maybe it'll kind of. Some people will purchase early and then you are gonna have that rush of last, especially with Black Friday. Everybody's out there buying. Like I said, I didn't participate. I don't participate in the Black Friday sales. I still had numerous sales. I don't know. <laughs> people are just like, last minute, I gotta buy. So ju just be prepared guys, because now is the time to take you seriously. Now's the time to take this small business of yours and, and keep growing. This is your time right now. I'm going to make sure to put as much as I can into the description below, like materials that I buy in bulk online. You know, you gotta think about your, your papers that you pack with if you're shipping. You have to think about your spray paints. You have to think about all that. So I'm gonna try to make a list in the description below so that way you guys can kind of look through it Think about it and, and get what you need to get now before you can't get it. <laughs> well, that's it for my speech. <laughs> I, just, I just want you guys to know that you got this. I believe in you. You got this. We're, we're going to do this together, okay? We are going to be flooded with those sales. I believe it. I know it. <laughs> If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love if you've subscribed. Hang, we can hang out. You can, you know, don't miss out on any more of my vlogs, tips, tutorials. Now I did a live. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> don't miss out on that. <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Bye.